Hello, welcome back to Bluebell Springer Spaniels. Here are the pups aged seven to eight weeks from Jasmine and Bailey, born on the 1st of June. Here they are all photographed at the vets. Took them in in pairs for their microchip, vaccine and vet check. Everyone did well and made a really, really good recovery afterwards. Very impressed on how they travelled. All puppies recovering really well at home. They didn't even sleep it off. They were full of themselves, but up and bouncy the next day. So here is the week we had leading up to going. Where is it, Twiggy? What are you doing? Doris, you come in. Billy. Come on in, puppy. Come on in, good girl. Come on, Finley. You can do it, Finley. Good boy. Hello, guys. Hello, Jake. Hello, Dexter. Murphy. Mm. What? What is it? Are you helping? Are you? Dexter? Little rascal. So, in the office doing some work, and the puppies come in to help so they can go outside and play. And, and they can be underfoot, so they have calm time as well. Hello, Doris. Oh, look at him. Don't you just love that spring of sprawl? Look at the way you're crossing your feet, you wally. Can you? <coughs> yeah, you are. You're a wally. <coughs> Are you cute? Murphy, have you actually been quiet for once? Have you tired you out, Murphy? Finley, you're always a little darling. You and you and Doris. A married old couple, you two. <laughs> yeah, trouble. Yeah, you're trouble this week, aren't you? Yeah, the two troublemakers this week is is Dexter and Twiggy, which is the two pinned there. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah. Doris. You're not. Oh, what is it, Puppet? You're a good girl, aren't you? Dexter getting you, Jake. Dexter! Guess where Murphy is? Right underneath the chair, all quiet. It was Murphy's week last week. What is it, Twiggy? Girl, Doris, sort him out. Girl. <laughs> yes. You little monkey, aren't you? Good boy. And the little Finley, just perfectly sat there. Well behaved puppy. Good boy, Finley. Good boy. Just a good boy. And the 
And then the last two that went through was Doris and Murphy. And look how bubbly they are. These two were the most playful. Murphy, good boy. And now, Jake. And now. Quiet. Is it Finley? Hello, Doris. As you can see, puppies are being separated off, learning a bit of independence and uh, allowing them to cry a little bit and, you know, it's using distraction technique. So it's all Quiet. part of minor training. Good puppies! He's a good puppy! Good boy. So all the previous noise was th that was Dexter. That was him having his little time out in the crate. So before he was doing really, really well. He got noisy and the minute he went quiet, I'd come in to praise him out. Good boy. So Dexter are in again with Twiggy, so pairing them off, just doing a bit of um, alter, alternate um, times together or away from each other, and again, positive and negative reinforcement is required. A little bit uh, teaching them separation time. Twiggy's doing really, really well with this. So obviously Dexter needed a bit more time than anyone. So I kept working on him. Good boy! Good puppy! Good boy, Murphy and Jake. Good boys! So Jake's got this thing where he gets very excited and he talks back to me. So I'm trying not to encourage that, as cute as he as he looks. No attention when that happens. Good boy. Now going back to outside. Pops on Come on then, foot. pups. Come on in. Getting better come at coming through puppies. gates and, and following me come when I call puppy. them. So they come all come to call individually. Here we go. Come on then, guys. You coming? Come on in. So we're very good. We all come underfoot and they just follow me where I want to go. Come on then. You coming, pops? Let's come and say hi to these guys. We've got to do your wormers in a minute, darling. So I'm doing their wormers today before they leave. Let's go into the office. Let's do it in here. Good puppies. Come on, puppies. Come on, puppies. Come on in, puppies. There we go. Right, I've got some wormers and I'm going to just do everybody's worming tablets. Hello, guys. There we go, Doris. Just giving her the pills. It's very hard to do it with one hand, but I know you'll be good for me, Doris. There we go. The next puppy to have the medicine. Do you want it, Jake? Or Finley?
Is that fun, guys? Is it? Is it fun? We're all so happy and bouncy. I expect you all to be tired after your vaccine yesterday, but none of it. Oh, thanks, Doris. I knocked that on the floor, didn't I? No. Doris, hello, you. Trouble. <laughs> what do you lot want? Hello, Finley. Hello, Jake. What are you doing? Yeah. Hello, Doris. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, Murphy. Dexter. Hello, Finley. Twiggy. Is it puppies? Is it Doris? Hello, sweetheart. Hello. Oh, hello, Finley. Yes, we got a voice. Yeah, that's Murphy jumping up with Dexter. Terrible too. There's Jake sorting them out. Twiggy, Twiggy, Twiglet, Twiglet. Hello. Very bouncy pups, more than ready to leave. And uh, you wouldn't think they were vaccinated and wormed. So we're going to do flea treatment tomorrow, uh, just to make sure we don't get too many chemical stresses at once. But I don't think there's any stress going on here, is there, guys? Just getting the final worming, and this has got a little bit of flea treatment in it. It's prescription from the vets. These are the first two puppies to go on the Friday. So Twiggy and Murphy, they've just had a bath, haven't you guys? And we're going to have our worming and flea tablet. So... You guys can handle it. The others are going to have theirs today as well, but they're going tomorrow. Good girl, Twiggy. So they got their little knitted, home knitted scent blankets ready. So it smells of the litter, and it smells of mum, and it smells of home. So it helps the puppy settle in. And you've already had yours, Twiggy. It's now time for Murphy. Murphy, you've got to have your pill, mate, when you finish chewing. Oh, good boy. I can't do it uh, single-handedly, but uh, I've just given him his pill and he's gone straight back to his chew. So we quite like these these little chews. They are um, little hooves and they're really, really good, natural, very good for puppy teeth. And it gives them something that they can do if, um, if they're teething like Murphy is right now. So uh, it's good to pick it up and give it back to him as a, as a, as a treat and... Good boy, touch him when he's, yeah, when he's with something with high priority. There we go, Twiggy. Yeah, I know you like this blanket. That is yours, yeah. That is yours. So the bath was supposed to calm you guys down so you can travel and tire you out a little bit, but you're still buzzing, aren't you guys? <laughs> Good girl, Twiggy. Good girl. Hello, Murphy. Murphy and Twiggy are getting a bit more independent time Murphy away from Twiggy. their little mates. So Murphy's been constantly trying to get up on the bed. The two hours have claimed it is theirs. They've got a heat pad underneath it. And Missy defends it with all her might. But as soon as Murphy... Murphy's the one that's consistently tested her. As soon as he breaches it, she goes quiet and lets him have the bed. But he does keep trying to deal with him. What is it, guys? I know, Missy. She's not She's not nasty. She just sets the rules, don't you, girl? She's the smallest dog with the biggest attitude. Girl. You found a toy? There we go, puppies. Twiggy likes to get something that everyone else wants and parade around with it all proud. She wants everyone else to want what she's got. There's a heat pad there as well, so it's a favourite spot at the minute. Um, Vesuvius is going to tell you off, mate. He says, you're a little bit boisterous, but I'm not going to run away from you. Oh, good girl, Twiggy. Good girl. Getting the pups to go outside. Do your business. business. Good boy. Good boy. Do your business, Murphy. 
are. Clever boy. Yeah, I know. We know you lot are there. They're, they're training, mate. They're training. Good boy, Murphy. Um, what have you got, Twiggy? Is that a leaf? I've been working on the paperwork and puppy packs. They've all got a puppy pack. They've got their all bags packed. They've got a nice knitted blanket from Mum. So this is home knitted. Smells of family. So it helps your puppy settle in. They've got all their paperwork, which I'll go through in a minute. They've got some changeover food. So they've got a bit of hills and a bit of the diet that their puppies are used to, which can be soaked. The pups have got a little bit of uh, enrichment here. So we've got a little bit of, uh, this is for walks. It's a water bowl or a food bowl. And this is, um, this is for toilet training. We also got a squeaky toy ball that I'm about to put in the pack. So just going through all of your paperwork. In, in your paperwork, they've got a little training collar. So this is a little Velcro one, so the pups get used to having it around their neck. It's a gradual process with lots of praise. They come with a their first vaccine and you've got a spare microchip yeah, stickers there. A little bit about puppy pack in there. This is the KC papers. So your puppy's KC registered. Thankfully it came through on time. This is your contract, so it's several pages. Make sure you read it. It says all about your pup's worming, all about their background, and it will have about their feed times as well. So any questions you have, have a look on that sheet first. And then you've got mum and dad's uh, te DNA test results to show that they're hereditary clear. Five weeks kennel club insurance covered straight away. Microchip is transferred into your details. And your puppy has their um, their own uh, pedigree certificate so everything should should all be in there and I'll send everybody an email a little bit about settling your puppy into the new home please be sure to join our owners group there's lots of supportive people on there that will happily um, help you settle your puppy in if you've got any questions and uh, I hope you enjoy your puppy as much as I have thank you very much we've been doing a little bit of separation time they all come with a little training ball it squeaks to get their attention and the idea being is this is a nice reward so when you're out and you want the pup to come in and they, they, they're quite a good distraction if your pup's up to no good. So if your puppy's doing something you don't want them to do, please distract them rather than tell them off. If you keep saying no, they'll, they'll think that the name's no. Whereas a, a quick and or quiet or a distraction with something fun, that's much better for them. If they go to chew to something they shouldn't always have something that's quite tough and robust quite like that um the high priority something something like this that will help distract your puppy and give them something to do so uh that's something something to bear in mind um praise your puppy when they're quiet and well behaved you know don't be afraid to praise your pup and the other thing to consider is when they're making lots of noise, if you've already ticked off all the boxes and you know that the pup's fed, watered, they've got everything they need, then um, you know ignoring a little bit of that behaviour would be better than feeding into it. Otherwise, you encourage your puppy to be quite needy, noisy and quite demanding. Try and build up a little bit about separation period. Your puppies are so used to lots of interaction that they um, that they will probably be quite... Uh, vocal initially and quite needy so be mindful of that they've got to transfer over from from being with mum and 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 litter mates to uh, to now being being with you so there we go murphy what do you want this mate is this good girl twiggy good girl so when i praise my pups i use two different tones i either go yes or good so it's a deeper tone one puppies respond to both they respond to their names individually and they also respond to puppies in general with my higher pitch tone you've probably heard it on the videos these two are good for a demonstration everyone else is outside practicing separation time they're, they're with mum and these two are um, transitioning so they're getting used to it before they they go off and see their families just in case you're wondering here they doing? are hello bubbies <coughs> are we all super keen to go tomorrow are we yeah i know all these guys will get a bath later aren't you and you get <coughs> yeah you do you're talking to me hey jazz you've had enough haven't you jazzy 
You good girl. So signing off from Bluebell Spring Spaniels. Thank you for following us. We will be having some more pups in the very near future. Watch out for some videos. In the meantime, we'll keep you updated. You found your voice this week, haven't you, Finn? Say goodbye, puppies. Bye-bye. Yeah, good boy, Dexter. Good girl, Doris. Yeah, there's Jake. Jake, can you speak? No. All right, say goodbye. Bye-bye, puppies. See you soon. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more updates.